come back to suffer in silence, I'm finished with that I'm hungry as shit, I need me a snack, I ain't gonna quit I'm better than that, I'll figure it out, I make me a man I'm winning now, I'm happy with that Don't look at my past, I'm not going back I'm better than that, I'm better than that Back to back with the betters, give me a call cause I'm making it happen Coming clean on the beat, I'm a savage, I really feel All right, what's up guys? I uh, got another video for you today. So currently, um, I'm 17 weeks out. I had to remember that for a second. So um, I was talking with my coach. Our show is actually gonna be on a Saturday. So I've been counting my weeks out on a Monday. So technically tomorrow, I'd be 16 weeks out. Even though I started prep on a Monday, Monday would be 16. But since I compete on a Saturday, tomorrow is technically 16 weeks out. So. Currently, 17 weeks out, um, I'm going to pop up my check-in photos right here. Uh, Ricky will take care of that. <laughs> and then, so today we got, what am I hitting? I got a uh, back, back on the menu today. Uh, we got some good row movements for y'all. And um, I think I got a lap pull-downs too. I should probably know this by now because I hit the same thing every week, push one and push two. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. And we're gonna go. Guys, I got hella sunburned today, so I'm hoping that doesn't affect too much of my lifts. No, it's like a thing. When you get like hella sun, you like have a good lift, because like, doesn't the sun increase your testosterone or something? Yeah? No, I swear, like vitamin D, and then you go to lift, apparently you have like a better lift. So, even though I'm a little burnt, hopefully the lift is fire today. You guys, look at that. Wait until I take off the pump cover, it gets really bad. Start off with this single arm lap pull down. Probably see me hit this a bunch. Um, we got a new character for the vlog today. Vlog, meet Connor. Vlog, but shit, man. It's okay, bro. It's okay. Um, Connor's a good buddy. We've been working out a lot together. So he's going to be our partner on this back day. So probably going to run this single arm lap pull down up to three plates. But we're going to see how it feels as we go. All right, so when you guys are doing this, it's really like, you want to focus on the lat. You kind of want to take the shoulder out of the equation. So what I like to do for my first rep, I bring it down so I can like adjust and I kind of lock my shoulder out, if that makes sense, like to where I can feel it, just the stretch of my lats. And after I pull it down, like, so the first rep doesn't really count. It kind of looks like this. I feel it all in my lat. Oh, then I'm going to go. Oh, kill anyone. Oh, yeah. So that way I'm getting all lat activation. I'm not doing cheat reps like type shit. You know what I mean? So really try to focus on that squeeze. Hey, he's waiting. Put some weight on the bit. I'm a side city. Yeah, yeah, I'm a side. Yo, you see the neck lit, fist glisten, chain dripping, lane shifting, rotten dirty, dirty, got that thing, no, I stay gripping, facing life with it or without it, bitches, same difference, lanes dripping, if it's day or night, I'ma bang with it, situation sick, the niggas broke, and it can't fix it, though it's all I know, so if you slip it, uh, it can't miss it, it ain't mention sending broke niggas, and the lane sickness got the game twisted, well, lane listen, say pimping, uh, pushing, trying to pump it like a piston, all I those are pretty solid reps. I say my last couple were a little bit cheap reps, but this is our top set of four plates. So, not too bad, you know what I mean? I haven't hit four plates on this in a while, though, so. Feeling good today, baby! Utilize my witty mind and improvise my goal of reach a whole time city high. You don't want to send me fine, nah, and that's a hit me fine. All you gotta do is send me mine. You got plenty time, mad, cause my one's up. And scared, cause my guns bust. The guards, mine is divine. I'll shine on you, dumb fucks. Sin never dumbstruck. Drama on the dumb pumps. At any man in the face, and like sanitation dump trucks. Dogs, magnum trunk chunks. Hey, two more, two more. Yeah. The bubble butts. Yeah. Yeah. Like Boys, come on. Knocking the double clutch. 
don't want no trouble. Right, all the way, all the way. Juggler, promise you your blood. Six, get it down. Let's go. In front of us, get clapped there. You front on us. Seven. Come on, give me three more. All right, guys. Next up, we're going with the uh, Smith Machine Row. I've been on and off with barbell rows and Smith Machine rows. I feel like I'm gonna get a better contraction with Smith Machine today. Oh my God, I butchered that. Smith Machine. Leave it. In. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> whatever, whatever. You guys know what I meant. Um, I'm gonna start with 25. As you guys know, I always start really light because I like to feel the movement, and then I'm gonna move up to weight. Um, ideally, I'd like to hit a plate, 25 and a 10 possibly two plates today. So let's go ahead and get this shit moving. We're gonna see how it feels. Watch me, watch me, get louder, get louder. Watch All right guys, um, this is gonna be my first attempt at watch rowing me. two plates in general. I've never rowed two plates, but we're gonna do it on a spin machine today. Uh, it's just feeling pretty light, so yeah, let's get it. I'm aiming for 8 to 10, hopefully. 12, 12 it is. Why we start going on the now just, yeah. Why we start and up here. Why we start going up here. Heavy, fast. I've been going hard for a year. Going with the ties in the hard bow and up a notch with me. Yeah, baby, it's a super size size chicken. All right, guys, so we finished up on the Smith Machine rows. Um, I was able to do, uh, I almost said 12 plates. Two plates for 12, and then we did a drop down to a plate in 25, and I did that for 12 as well. Next up, we're moving on to a single arm chest supported low row. Um, I'm going for the underhand grip on here, just so I can really focus more of like the bottom of the lat, kind of into the serratus area, just to kind of get more like lat connection. If that makes sense. Um, probably about to do Probably four, five sets on here. Um, this is feeling lighter than normal today. So normally I'd start at, <laughs> normally I started around two plates, but I put on two plates. I did like five reps and it, it was just moving. So we're gonna do our first set at three plates, probably work up to four, four and a half. But yeah, let's get started. Also, I probably said this a lot in my other back videos. Actually, I don't know if I've said it, but just in case, Straps make a world of difference. If you guys aren't using straps, you're not hitting back there correctly. It just, it allows you to take so much out of the equation to where I can move more weight with my back rather than my grip faulting how much weight I can do. So if you don't use straps, get a pair. Free promo, but you can probably go on TikTok shop and find a pair for like 10 bucks, not even. But, all right guys, let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. So, like I was saying on the grips, guys, I'm focusing on the lower lat, kind of the connection into like the oblique down here area. So I'm opting for this like middle grip, but it's an underhand grip. And I'm really like leaning over and like squeezing into it. So like, the, like if you were to come over here, you probably see like this jaw right here. So like I'm hitting it and I'm going in. So it's hitting all like right here. You feel me? Yep. Three, four, five. Fuck yeah. That shit feels like money today, bro. I was gonna say it's easy. We going four or you wanna go three and a half first?
Skull crushers, superset with the the tricep. Wait, what do you call them? Swords? I call them swords. Oh, like Deadpool. Oh, that's sick. I never thought of that. All right, we'll do swords, skull crushers, and then we'll burn out 200 hammers. All right, guys, we got the Run the Rack special. We're going to go ahead and pop an upper decky in. I feel like such a rookie. <laughs> I haven't done this shit in a minute. Hold on. Little African sugar. <laughs> Hey, rubber band been hunting since she keep on coming up. This is the thumb. Move like a mummy, the drug got him slumpy. I'm just a junkie. Head to the combo if it's about money. I'm just a thumb. To be bummy, turn up to something. I got my bitch, I'm just a thumb. Hey, 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 I'm just a thumb. Used to be bummy, turn up to me something I act on my bank account just to the jump Honey band, honey band, guns in the Sprinter van Never play middle, man, we gotta get them, man If I don't feel them, man, we gotta kill them, man Spend like a silly fan, not for the dividends Reaping the benefits, like he an immigrant Lot of artillery, special delivery Show my agility and my ability Go on a killer street like we the military Play with my cash and I'm on your ass Like the pockets on the back of your pants Lay on my stands like it was a mattress Pillowcases filled over my bands Couple grand in the attic, another grand like magic that's mathematics, getting paid is a habit Ballin' like I was a maverick, or John Madden Rubber band hunters, this shit keep on comin' up This is the thumb, move like a mummy The drill got them slumpy um, So guys, when you guys are hitting these Part of the exercise is when I'm laying down I don't have my arms straight out ahead of me I have my arms rather like canted back Which I'll show you guys in a second What that's gonna do is gonna allow constant tension on the tricep Which is ultimately more work for the tricep which equals more gains. So what I mean is instead of here, when I'm hitting these and going up and then resting, I'm gonna stay here and then up and this way. My arms are like diagonal and that makes more strain on my tricep, which makes more gains. So make sure when you guys are doing these, try and keep your arms like above your head rather than straight, if that makes sense. <laughs> Guys, so we got the 15 pound dumbbells. Uh, this is gonna be our last exercise for today. And pretty much we're just gonna do 100 of them. <laughs> so we're not gonna do singles. We're gonna do double, doubles. Can't even speak. We're gonna do doubles and we're gonna do 100. And then we're gonna go check out the pump. So um, let's cut to doing 100 fucking curls. Plain Jane, Jackie Chain, Richard Millie. You gon' be the one, bust it down, I can see it. Diamonds in the face, crushed up, I can see it. Diamonds in the face, crushed up, I can see it. Diamonds in the face, crushed up, I can see it. Diamonds in the face, crushed up, I can see it. Diamonds in the face. Face. Um, all right, guys. So um, that was the workout for today. Uh, pretty solid sesh. We did. Oh God, let me think. Um, yeah, we did smorgasbord. No, so we did the the single arm pull downs. Did four plates on that. That was pretty good. Hit a PR on the Smith machine rows. So we did two plates on that. That was pretty fire. We did some low rows, never hit four plates on that. So pretty much PRs across the board, pretty good workout. Then we hit... PRs across the board? <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be honest. But um, then we hit some arms, hit some skull crushers, a little bit of biceps. Um, now we're going to get a physique update. I know you guys saw my check-in photos, but this is going to be the after pump 17-week uh, out physique update. So, yeah, we need, we need to get going. I'll be doing these shits. Like, to get my pump, you know what I'm saying? But, all right, cue 17 week out posing montage. It's in the face, you can see it. I just put my whole damn arm in the fridge. Ten chains on, look at charm on the shit. Ten, 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 
I just charge a whole damn imp for a gig And I got a nitro for a pig I'ma make it spark when you see it You can call them narcs, I ain't queen Diamonds in the face crushed up, you can see it Diamonds in the face crushed up, I can see it Diamonds in the face crushed up, I can see it Diamonds in the face crushed up, I can see it See, I want to do plastic, but I don't know if I've told the vlog this yet. I want to see how my legs survive prep, if I like prep, if I, like if I like doing shows and shit, because like, I have pretty good legs. Obviously, they could be bigger. Like, I'm not saying I have the biggest legs. Facts. What? Facts. Like, I don't know if they're going to stay this size and just look shredded, because like, I don't know. I, that's why I just want to do men's physique, see what I look like. After like a dicey prep, you know what I mean? But I could definitely use some calves. <laughs> I got some small ass calves, bro. They've been shrinking, bro. I've been hitting them too. All right, guys. So that was the workout for today. Uh, yes, I know I'm a little red. Like I said, I got really burnt at the beach today, so I'm really red. <laughs> But that was going to be the workout for today. Pretty fire workout. Um, like I said, PRs across the board. I don't know. Today's just a good day. Some days are hit or miss. Like the other workout I was telling you guys, you just got to get through it. Today, we didn't have to get through it. Today was really easy to go. So, yeah, pretty fire workout. Um, I'm about to head home and show you guys what I eat for my post-workout meal. And so I will catch you guys at the crib. All right, guys, so a um, couple of things. This is the next day. So yesterday I hit back and back and biceps. Today I hit shoulders. Um, yesterday I got home, completely crashed, ate my food, showered, out, right? So um, I was like, all right, I'm going to just do it today because I pretty much eat the same thing every day because I'm on a meal plan, you know, so I'm super exciting. <laughs> but yeah, this is the meal we got for today. So long story short, I just filmed this twice to realize I didn't have the autofocus on. So I was like mad blurry and I'm not a perfectionist, but I got some of my fucking teeth. I'm not a perfectionist, but like I want it to look good. You know what I mean? So I definitely took a few bites, but this is supposed to be 170 grams of chicken, can you guys see? 170 chicken, 220 rice. So that's what we're eating right now. Um, I'm freaking starving because, like I said, I just got home and um, I filmed this twice before eating and I had to take a bite before I made it the third time. <laughs> I was starting to get a little hangry. But yeah, yesterday's workout was really good. Um, today I actually hit shoulders. If you guys follow me on Snap, I post like daily workouts, but since it's like a 24 hour thing, I try to only put one workout on the timeline, so sometimes it's every other day. But um, we hit four plates on the shoulder press, so that's pretty dope. <clears throat> um, oh, also, if you guys follow the Snap, you guys, sorry if you hear my dog in the background, <laughs> but uh, you guys know we're looking pretty lean. I'll get a quick little. <sighs> I don't even know how that looks. Hopefully that looks good. But um, yeah, the cut is definitely starting to cut, which is great because if you guys know, I was getting a little insecure there on my bulk. Um, wasn't Not that I was in a bad headspace at all. It's just like from being overweight and then like I wasn't fat, but like, like I keep saying this, I was fluffy. Definitely had some extra fat on me. So it's definitely good to kind of see the abs again. They're, they're almost back. I'd say they're like like 30, maybe 25% of the way back-ish. Cause like I can see them, I can see the outline, but I still got this little layer down here and stuff. But uh, shoulders was moving today. Shoulders are pretty good. As I'm pretty sure I told you guys, shoulders insecure spot for me. So that's why I try to absolutely wreck them. So I'll hit shoulders every Saturday, but a couple times throughout the week, like uh, Tuesday on my push day and then um, on Thursday, my active rest day, I 
I do active wrestling, mainly cardio and abs, but uh, you know, I'll hit like a little bit of like, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and scarf this down. Quick little thing I wanna touch on that I talked about in the other videos, but I don't remember how I got there, but it was kinda cool, or not cool, but like a good tip, if you know what I mean. Um, I went over to my coach's house to grab something, and I saw him get his rice out of a bag because he was making his meal prep. And I was like, you put your rice in a bag? Because I used to be a Tupperware guy, right? He's like, yeah, bro, try it. And so I've been doing this, and it's just like mad easy to put in, mad easy to like store in the fridge because it's not some like bulky thing. So rice in a bag, OP. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I also do chicken in a bag. It's yellow because I use this like seasoning. It's like this onion caramel thing. It's, I don't know, it's one of the Kinder seasoning. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, chicken in a bag, fire. There's no more Tupperware. I just let it fold it up and bloop, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, those are quick little meal prep uh, hacks. That way you can use all your Tupperware for if you gotta take it to work or you know if you're just on the go and you need your Tupperware, boom, you got your Tupperware. Also, saves mad space because unless you have like a, a big Tupperware, Probably using a couple little ones, bro. Just put it in a bag, bro. So much easier. But yeah, so today is Saturday. Um, I'm actually 16 weeks out today. So I had this conversation with my coach. Um, we started prep on a Monday. So like day one would have been a Monday. And I've been counting week by week by Monday. But I actually compete on a Saturday. So technically today, I'm 16 weeks out instead of Monday being 16 weeks out. This is still gonna be the 17 week out video because the diet plan hasn't changed that I'm on the 16 week diet plan like that we've updated. So this is gonna be week 17, Road to Show. Pretty sure this is episode four. So um, yeah, we're looking pretty good for 17 weeks out in the back video. Um, 16 weeks out, I'll make this video probably coming up in the next uh, week. Um, we're starting to get a little dicey Definitely not anywhere close to stage lean, but like from the leanness I've been before, we're getting close to it. You know what I mean? Because I've only been like, quote unquote, Instagram lean type thing. I've never been like super paper thin shredded. So I'm excited to kind of get there. <clears throat> but all right, this is going to be week 17, uh, Road to Show. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the vid. I appreciate the love and support. Um, the algorithm has been all right to us. So if you guys could drop a like, drop a, drop, drop a comment, that would be greatly appreciated. Maybe tell a friend, you know what I mean? Or send the link to a friend. I don't know how you guys do your thing. But I appreciate the love and support. Honestly, it means the world to me. I'm still kind of transitioning into like more fitness stuff rather than like the TikTok side of things because I just kind of grew out of doing like the fuck boy shit on TikTok. So... Like I said, I appreciate the love and support. If you guys sticked around, if you guys don't like the content anymore, you know, no hard feelings. Not everybody likes bodybuilding. You know what I mean? But anyways, that was going to be week 17 video. Um, I will see you guys this week for week 16.